So, I rode on the Elizabeth line. Today's video will be some pictures whilst I describe it. I started at Canary Wharf, catching the DLR to get there. I then had to come out of the DLR station, walk across some streets and go through an interesting tunnel to get to the Crossrail station. Completely on a different topic from the Elizabeth line, but Canary Wharf looks beautiful and riding the DLR through Greenwich really made me appreciate all of the surroundings. Then comes the exciting part. I rode down on the escalators to platform level. It took three escalators to get all the way down. The platforms are amazing, very long. We then got onto the train and rode all the way down to Paddington. Here's the analysis part of the video. The class 345s were really long as well, and with the width you could easily fit in two widths of a regular tube train. If you were to bring a buggy and three children onto these trains, they would fit in without a doubt, and people would still be able to walk past you. These trains could hold up to 1,500 passengers at one time and are just over 200 metres long. I didn't get time to explore all the Elizabeth Line platforms, but they all looked amazing. From what I could see, there were big tunnels, clean floors and spectacularly new. Before we move on though, a subscribe to the channel would be amazing if you're enjoying the video. We also travelled past Bond Street at a speed so that you could see out the windows to the, from the train to the station. If you were quick enough to see, you could read the purple signs that they read out, station closed and coming soon. You could also see yellow barriers across the station entrances. Then I reached Paddington, where this journey and my video ends. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.